Right, we're, we're walking to um, Disneyland. Right, we're just going to get on the Disneyland transportation bus. We've never done this before in any Disney. There's the castle. Welcome back to the channel. Whirly and Nick, a couple from the UK. In 2017, due to a health scare, we gave up our 9 to 5 lives and bought a lodge on the east coast of England, where we started enjoying life and seeing more of the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join us on our biggest adventure yet as we drive from LA to Orlando on our USA road trip. Morning, back again, afternoon, whatever. It is about half 8 a.m. We what? I don't think so. It is? What time is it? About half past nine. No, it's not. It's half eight. We are heading in to Disneyland Park today for the day. Another hot, sweaty, lovely, humid day. However, the sun's not out at the moment, so that might be a godsend. But we're going to go for breakfast yeah, downstairs. Got breakfast Check out the, the hotel. heat. So we're staying in the Capri Suites in Anaheim. Um, so we'll go check this breakfast out. I don't know if I said it in the last vlog or not, but uh, we're walking down the street in um, California Adventure last night and some poor guy just fainted and like face planted the floor. With the heat. So, yeah, so the heat is so that, that bad at the minute. I'm gonna try and not moan about the heat today though, because it is what it is. It's, You're um, not moan. <laughs> so let's go and have some breakfast before heading into Disneyland. They do, they do waffles. They're not Mickey waffles, but they do waffles. Mm -hmm. The good news so far is it's nowhere near as hot as it was yesterday. I know it's only like half eight and the sun's not out. I can cover this but, all day. Um, fingers crossed, it's going to be a little bit better today. A bit nippy actually. Right, so Lee said we've just been up to the kitchen and has come back with this. So it's typical, typical American breakfast. I think he's going to try to get some bagels or some maple syrup to go with his cream cheese. I'm not sure though. Lee's having a, a healthy each one, no waffles. And then this is the dining room where everybody sits. So, um, I wonder what drink he'll come back with. So he's back with drinks, I think that's apple juice and orange juice. And he's just gone to see if he can get some maple syrup. Should we come back to that? Here he is, the maple syrup. Is that a bagel? Yeah, yeah fruited cinnamon. Yeah, fruit cinnamon. Oh bagel. my god, it smells like, it smells like a cinnamon. Right, let's tuck in. Wow. Right, we're, we're walking to um, Disneyland. Sun is out now, finally. It's a bit warm, a bit but warm. it's not yeah. too warm. Not if it stays yet. like this all day, I'll be absolutely fine. I doubt it will do, it's only about nine o'clock in the morning so the walk to disneyland from our hotel is about a 25 minute walk it's literally down this road and then disneyland is on the end and we are coming into the east side of disneyland so not through downtown disneyland like we did in january 20. loads and loads of hotels down here i think this must be like the main area to stay and just over there we didn't realize it but didn't see it before because we didn't stay down this street there's an actual official disney car parking oh, yeah. car park there so that's the, um, I think that's the Toy Story car park. Oh, I've got to run the traffic lights, they're on. I think that's the Toy Story car park. Yeah. We've seen a lot there are buses from the um, the Disneyland entrance that takes you there. Take you there. And so. it's almost back to our hotel, but Lee says you need a receipt, so you've got to pay for parking. And I don't know how much it is. Um, well, you're not going to have to just catch the bus without parking, no. are you? So. We're not driving in, but I imagine it's, it's usually around $25 and it, to park in Disney. Yeah. Security nowhere near as bad as it was last night. We should sail through this in two minutes. Security was a breeze. I'm just waiting for Lee to catch up. Here he is, and then we're going to head into the park, and then we'll decide today whether we're going to get Genie Plus or not. Right here we are in the park. It wasn't too bad coming in, so uh, I don't remember last time riding the um, the train that goes round. I don't know. I, I don't can't know remember. It was open or not, but I think the first time we ever did that was in Paris. I'd have to watch our own vlogs again to uh, we'll, find well, out. We'll do it today if it's running. Right, we're just going to get on the Disneyland transportation bus. We've never done this before in any Disney, and uh, they're just loading it now. Here comes Pluto. Hi. Hello. Giving us a wave. Hi. <laughs> there's a lot of characters out at the minute. There's Mickey dressed in his Halloween costume. Uh, there's Pluto there. And then uh, Chip and Dale over there. Oops, I meant Goofy when I said. Did I say Goofy? I think I might have said Pluto. That's a different character. I know it is, it's Goofy. Not seen the castle yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's small. Can just see it. There we go. Here's the straw headers and with Pluto dancing, I'll let you enjoy them. the queue to get the uh, photo, oh, just Douglas there. Candy corn to your right. 
Where's Donald Duck? Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of characters out at the moment. It's very hustling and bustling around here at the minute. There's the castle. It's a shame it's small, but it's a just nice needs castle. An extension on yeah, the top. Yeah, it's a bit of an it? extension, but yeah. uh, it is a it is a nice little. The trees look. behind it, obviously, are not uh, a flight hazard or whatever. No, it's small, so there's no reason why they can't just stick it. It's the original castle, though. It's Walt's castle, so uh, it's the original. Right, we're heading, heading into Adventureland. There's the enchanted tiki room on the left. And we're going this way to the New Orleans Square so we can get on Haunted Mansion. We've never done it here before. Nope. It was closed the last time we came, um, but it's uh, open now. It's so we're going to do it. It's in the same position as it is in Paris. Yeah, too. But not in Disney World. Yeah. There's Pirates of the Caribbean here. It always looks kind of non piratey here. But uh, I do like the building though. We'll go on that ledge because it's a really good pirates here. And um, Haunted Mansion is just over there. I can see it all done up for Halloween. We'll come and check out New Orleans Square a little bit later. Oh, that's so, that really expensive restaurant there. That yeah, one. and Club 33 is down there as well. Yeah. Blue Bayou or Blue something. Bayou. Yeah. Right, here we are. We're going into the Lightning Lane. We're using our free pass, what we got last night, for when um, Guardians broke down. And I'm glad we got that because it's a 45 minute wait. Exit, all right, John. Okay, stay with them. Oh, wow, I love that. That's definitely the best themed haunted mansion, I think. Oh, I don't know, Paris. I don't know, Paris looks. Cool. I do Paris like Paris, cool. I do love Paris, but I love that. This has definitely got the architecture of New Orleans, yeah, obviously, because it's in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. This is what I've been excited for. This one ride. I'm actually excited for this ride because the last time we were here, it was January 20 and the ride was closed because they were taking the theming off. Um, so we missed it. So this is a brand new ride in uh, one of the Disney parks for us. Oh, here comes amazing. Let's just do this over and over and over. So this is the, um, the waiting room before we go into the, the room with the uh, floating ceiling. So this looks very the different. Tale is a tale that's quite you can see the Christmas theme in there. But during this season, it's sometimes and then the, uh, the ceiling so there. Relax, that's normal. Relax. We have no way of knowing, no way of knowing what it looks like before the theme in. That's the problem. Was the nightmare before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was peaceful, not Ghost even King. a mouse. The this year, he's decided to play Sandy Claus, but when Halloween creates Christmas. So the loading, the loading setup is exactly the same as Paris, give or take a few bits and bats. But my god, you don't get things like that in Paris. That looks, doesn't, you can't really appreciate it on the viewfinder, but that looks stunning in real life. It's the same colours and effects as the um, Snow White ride in, um, in Disneyland Paris. It's so vibrant, isn't it? Everything's so animated and techno updated technology.
that. Absolutely Bam. loved it. <laughs> that was friggin' awesome. It that always reminded me of the Snow White colour scheme. Yeah, really but vibrant and yeah. bright. It always makes me wonder why the Florida Haunted Mansion is just not as good as that when Florida is a lot newer, but oh well, that was amazing. I absolutely loved it. We're gonna to go to Smuggler's Run now because it's only 15 minute wait time. So we're uh, in Disneyland, California. When you're looking at the um, castle, just to the left, you walk and then you get into Batu. Just like that, we're in Batu. So we're gonna head around to the Millennium Falcon. Right, it's a 15 minute wait time, which is not bad at all. What we're doing at the minute is we're doing all those, all the rides, we're running around doing all the rides with the low wait times, and then we'll decide whether Genie Plus is worth it. Yeah. Here in Miami, Sports Solutions, today I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. I need all the profits. into that position it's always best to do pilot a lot of people still think that the buttons and the controls don't do anything but obviously if you've ridden it you know that they do you can steer it left and right you can shoot and then the people that sit at the back the uh, engineers they just push buttons and nothing really happens I like being the uh, I want to be a pilot I want to be a pilot though Right, we've been assigned purple, we're just currently looking for it, and I can't find it. Anyway. We're just going to wait, and then uh, we've asked to be pilots. Uh, so at the moment, I think we're just going to be on our own, piloting. We're on our own. We're on our own. No engineers, and no, um, no gunners. No gunners. <laughs> so you'll have to lean back. What do you need? The boosters? It says, did you, have you done the boosters? I don't know. Are you pilot? <laughs> So we're on on the zone, and he said the rest of the um, crew will be piloted by droids while we pilot. Who's gonna shoot? He said, he said droids will all be taken care of by droids. Because there's no seatbelt yeah. locks. Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, Nick you likes to press the every button Fire possible. Let's see if any of them move. It's in the handle. Some of them and do, but are frozen. You are Antibacterial now. <laughs> so, first time ever on Smuggler's Run, all on his own. It's a shame <laughs> we can't, we can't uh, reach got, the buttons. We've got the Millennium Falcon to herself. I'll do the um, position of the engine. Automatic repair engaged. Push the flashing button, you move it off. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say, pilot on the right. You are. Pull back on ah. the stick to fly right. Are we down? And pull forward. It's inverted. Ah. Oh. Oh. This thing will be the haste. No gun. Unknown weapons engaged. Left pilot, hit the boosters. Boosters. Let's go get that clutch out. Right pilot, make the jump to light speed. Friends, that could have been much worse. 
Excuse me. You know the way you open from your dad. So that's our score. Minus 850 for collisions. Uh, well, you were you, like, he said inverted out. Like, you were like, rip left man, inverted left up and down. You were like it. tickling it. Oh, it's hard to do when you're vlogging as well. All available text. We have a Corellian freighter that needs immediate transport back to the maintenance bay. I find myself completely disoriented. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Where the blue milk is there, on this wall in front of us in, in Disney World, you can't go anywhere. But here, there's a path yeah, there's through a path to another, another one. Let's just go. Let's so, just see where it is. We're I'm, trying to I'm go completely to completely disoriented. Fantasyland because the uh, wait times are like five to ten minutes. And yeah. There's some rides we've not done before ever, like Mr. Toad, something or other. Did we ever do Small World in California? I'm sure we've remember. done Small World here, but that's a five minute wait time as well. So we will get on that one, of course. Mr. Toad's wild ride, we've never done it before. Let's see how wild it really is. Watch your children. Okay. Hello, you ready? Push up. Have a great try. Oh, we're going in a different door. We were just discussing whether we've actually been on this. I can't remember. I don't think so. But it, it reminds me of like Winnie the Pooh, so it might be that. Um, yeah, Winnie the Pooh, you're not forget. somewhere for something cool to uh, eat or drink and um, a dole whip some kind of dole, dole whip. whip okay what did you think to that uh, snow white um it was better than paris it was the same but also different it was more technology on yeah. it more more plasma screen and yeah. projections and paris is more like uv lighting and yeah. like animatronics but that one was better i think Right, we've decided to stop some lunch. We've got a Dole Whip. Nick's got the Swirl Dole Whip. Raspberry and lemon? Uh, last, raspberry and pineapple. Uh, yeah, I've just got the normal one. And what's these, what we've got? Uh, lime chicken bao buns with the um, bao sauce. Ooh, let's have a look at this. Yeah. Monsters. And what's this sauce? Uh, that's just the bao sauce to go with it. Mm. Right, gotta eat these first because they're melting. Yeah. So, two bao buns and two Dole Whips was $27.97. Those uh, bad ones were very nice. And we also used a yeah, gift card, which we've uh, had. That bad bun was very nice. I must say. Actually, that sauce. <laughs> we're going to go on um, Jungle Cruise. It's just right behind us. 20 minute wait. 20 minutes. The wait times aren't so bad. Even um, Rise of the Resistance went down to 40 minutes not long ago. So uh, it's quite nice when the uh, wait times like that. What? Kevin wants you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> The wait times are pretty good. Um, 
rise resistance went down to 40 minutes, so uh, it's not too bad at all. That bow bun was very nice, by the way. Parents, please watch your children. And children, watch your parents. They're still not watching you. Welcome aboard the world's famous Jungle Cruise! Anything, we'll just jump right over. Yeah, unless there is something he doesn't like, and then bang, he's on our boat, and we don't want this. Let's get out of here. Oh, and be careful. Ah, oh, we can't watch it. And we're now entering a sacred Indian elephant bathing pool. I said, Look how cute they are. Oh. All right, you guys safe to be here. <laughs> we have Bertha, we have Bertha. Jungle Cruise is a, uh, Indiana Jones. We're just about to go on that, but I think it looks like it's down. Yeah, I think so. They're uh, temporarily closed. Oh no. Joy. Well, let's go and have a look around um, New Orleans Square. Right, come on. Then. So, New Orleans Square is, I think, mainly like restaurants, cafes, and. Merch. Uh, oh, some merch, yeah, go on. Let's, let's go and get cool. Let's go get cool in the aircon. Decanter. Yeah, I can't tell whether it's plastic. Like glass. It feels like plastic. Mm. How much is it? Um, Careful the top. It is thirty-four ninety-nine. Not bad. Definitely not glass. I don't think it's too too light. And you've got the door to Club Thirty Three in New Orleans as well. The very first one. I wonder what's Orleans. happening up there right now. Right, but there's nobody in. Right, just at the side of New Orleans Square is a train station, and the trains just pull on in. So uh, we're going to get on it and just uh, have a uh, mosey on around. Speaking of critters, this place we're passing over is home to a whole bunch of them. Here in Critter Country, We hope that you continue to enjoy your visit to the Disneyland Resort. Fly Annie, my friends. Para su seguridad, permanece sentado en la tienda de las manos y brazos y sin pie. Right, we took the uh, train all the way back to Main Street because as we uh, skipped Main Street this morning by doing the um, the bus thing, yeah. we're going to have a mooch around Main Street and look at some merch. As we were getting off there, there was an announcement saying calling people to join the um, the, re the railway train again, and it actually said um, everybody aboard who wants to take a trip, full trip around Disney's Magic Kingdom. So I don't yeah. know whether that's an error or it's as bad as us getting things wrong. Well, yeah. Let us know in the comments below if that's an error or whether it's I don't know. What's the reason? Look at this tiny little um, like lounge, lounge flyer thing. It's it tiny. Probably would just fit the camera in actually. Do you want it's it? A the camera, our camera would not fit in that. Forty dollars. No chance. No. I like it though. It's cute. Nick finally found the t-shirt he wanted. But I might wait till I get to Walt Disney World because by the time this, by the time we get there, I may be a size bigger. Mm. Halloween candle hole. Little that, candle hole. Yeah. That, um, that, shape on your, on your windows yeah you pop it in there well, i would imagine if you had that in like a kid's bedroom that would project onto the wall yeah that's what i mean 19.99 they're quite cute the uh heat ears can you try them on no why no do ears i like this though yeah i saw that one there actually. nice comfy blanket 60 dollars <laughs> Going 
on now back into the merch store. literally call the back, back, back half of the parade. Yeah. So we're back in here looking at stuff. You like that landfly? I do, but I'm, I would never ever buy a bike. Well, no, I think landfly. I mean, anybody can wear landfly, but they, they're a bit small for, for me. S Street One Railway, how yeah. much? $90, I would say. Wow. 75 actually, it's cheaper than I thought. Oh, I thought, you, said, oh, I thought you meant it was 90 but... I know somebody would like that. I think Hannah would love that. Yeah, quite a lot of us friends would like that. $95. That $95. I wonder what the most expensive lounge fly is in here. You they seem to be getting more and more of these little, um, these lightweight hats, which I absolutely love now. Like the, um, it's like lycra. Yeah, it's like, um, it's really thin and fit. breathable material. How much? Yeah, I quite like that colour. Well, um, it is $40. Ooh, I'd, I'd pay $25 for that. They all the same. I'd wear sure them. No, yeah. no, it's too hot. 5 to 11 UK. Uh, no price. Let me have a quick look at the other one. $20, I'd say. Um, um, we're doing guess the merch price. No, no. Nothing's priced for some reason. Hmm. Maybe yeah. it's like on an offer or something. I would say they'd be $20. Maybe. Be careful with that. I don't lift it up. Well done. Is it a cookie jar? <laughs> I'd imagine it's like a cookie jar, yeah. But that one's can't. rammed, but that oh, one's no. loose. You're making me nervous. Let me no. Oh my goodness. Watch me drop it on floor. $54. Here's a cookie jar. It's got a seal, that was, was that's what was making it not come out. So you've got to put it back in carefully and then turn the head on. There we go. Mm -hmm. I will put it down now. I knew you'd find these. I love a notebook. That looks like a Britannica um, <laughs> yeah. encyclopedia, do you know what I mean? With the gold foil spine. That's a nice one. Has it got a pocket in the back or no? No. How much? Um, that one is $25. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, I've seen them. Is that a photo oh, album? I think you, it's like a scrapbook. So you put your. I um, don't know, it's actually got lines. What's the bit of the front? Is that um, elasticated? Just, to put stuff, mm, pictures in no, on? No, I don't know what that is. I don't know, you can put pictures in there. That is $35. Look at these ones if you're into your journaling and journals. That's a well nice one. The thing is, if you, if you bought something like that, I'd want to keep it for new. I know. Like safe for best. That one is. And look at this one. Well, we've seen, seen that, that one. Before. We saw that one in Paris. Yeah. I'm sure we did. I do it like a journal. It just makes me not want to write on it now. I'd want a, um, a pocket in the back to, for it to be like. Sure, a, you can just buy them and stick travel journal. Well, you could do. Yeah. Halloween totes, twenty four oh. ninety nine. Eh? They're decent quality ones, and all. They're not like the um, the cloth ones. You pay twenty five dollars for a bag, though. Yeah, you wouldn't pay $25 for a bag. Not that one. You've got about 80 bags that cost more than that. I really like the mat. I just wish it was in grey. Yeah, it's not the right colour That colour would us. get... It's going to get mucky straight away, isn't it? $34. That's not bad. I like this It's just range. the colour, though. It's the colour just... It would just... With our messiness, we would get it filthy. But um, we do have quite a lot of grey stuff, which would look nice in the lodge. Right, we were about to head out and then just checked and Indiana Jones has actually opened up again there's a 25 minute wait time so we're going to race around there and um, ride it and then possibly have a look to see what Pirates is and maybe do that as well it's about a 30 40 minute wait the last time I looked that's not too bad um, and then we might go over to Space Mountain let's just go this way might go over to Space Mountain give that a go and then we will go back and have a chill before we go out again tonight in, Dis in downtown Disney right we're in the queue we were just saying this is the first ever ride that we have ever did in Disneyland Park, isn't it? I think it was. I think it definitely was. I remember that from the vlog because we, we just got off the plane and we got here and came in. And then I think, without looking back, we did Pirates straight after it. With so, all these like noises of the jungle and stuff and the heat. Actually, it feels like we're in the jungle. Yeah. I mean, last time we did it, we did it at night as well, yeah, wasn't we? Journey becomes Bobby. And to keep you safe and sound, here are special boats attached into the seats. <laughs>
That's actually a pretty horrendous ride. Horrendous. <laughs> the, the footage was probably so shaky. Might not be able to ha add much, but I just couldn't keep hold of the camera. It was everywhere. Apparently, I was trying to hold his ha arm to try and keep it stable. Yeah. It does say it's um, like a replica of the... What, which was a dinosaur ride in Animal Kingdom, but I think that's worse. I think there's, I think the technology is the same, but that the track. I don't think in the um, you can't in of, Disney World. You don't go up that ramp at the you beginning. You can't enjoy the ride; it's that violent. But um, if you got a bad back or anything like that, do not go on that ride. I can tell now. Tomorrow, my stomach muscles are going to hurt just from tensing myself and trying to hold myself in the seat. The bag was actually beneath my legs, and when I went to get it, it had slid down the end of the carriage. Yeah, so halfway around the ride, he goes, "I've lost the bag. Your bag's gone." And I'm like, it what? was actually in the next person's um, between the next person's legs. Right, we're heading on over to downtown Disney to have a uh, nice cool drink somewhere. We're meeting our friend Kelly for a meal. We're going to meet later, but she's, she's arriving earlier, so we're just going to have like a, uh, a, a, a late afternoon uh, meal with her and then go back in. So we're going to have to do this whole day without a snooze. Nana. Without a nana and without a, uh, a hotel well, break. As soon as those, um, that projection show's finished tonight, we'll be racing back to the hotel, I think. Yep. There's World of Disney in uh, downtown Disney. Might have a look in there a little bit. So, should we go in now? Yeah, let's go in. Let's go in now as we're going past. We get oh cool and look God. at some t-shirts. So you perfect like the like this bag actually. Little sort of man baggy type thing. I just wish yeah. that they could do all the Marvel stuff in Orlando. I wish Universal well, would just give up the there. license and allow them to do the Marvel stuff. Yeah, that ain't ever gonna happen. That would suit you. You found something yet? You want? No, but that would suit you, that colour. No, I don't like grey. Yeah. Well, I do. It's green. Lodge, but that's not... You think that's green? It is green. That's not green. That's grey. That's got a greyish tinge. It's the greenish green. tinge. Where? Where's this a green? Oh, you didn't say colour, but that would suit that you. Is not, that is, that is grey with a that greenish tint. And this, this would suit you as is well. Is that blue? <laughs> that would suit Oh yeah, that well. would suit me. Definitely. How much? I think they're all 24 these t-shirts. Everyone, 24 Right, we're just having a little sit down. Um, I'll just show you around some of the shops at uh, downtown Disney. Um, and up there is the back of, or the side of one of the hotels. I think it might be the Grand Californian. If that's the thing, I might just made that up. Um, so uh, we're just gonna look for, hopefully somewhere inside to have a cool drink. Cool Possibly beer. in there, Naples Ristorante Bar. We're gonna have a drink in there. I can confirm it is the Grand California. Oh, I got I some right up on um, Google Maps. Just checking out the uh, ice cream flavor, that's salt and straw. They have some weird flavors. Yeah. Look at that one: pear and blue cheese ice cream, yeah. olive oil flavor. Uh, I mean, the rest of them. Can oh no, strawberry and honey balsamic with black pepper. These are the classic flavors as well. There's some limited edition Harvest Festival flavor: spice goat cheese pumpkin pie ice cream. Mm. I Can quite fancy um, sherbet. I saw some of them where I fancied. Oh, there. Cinnamon snickerdoodle. Ooh, ah. Uh, we have some. Should we have one? tempted with that. So you can taste the uh, flavours here before you buy and then just put the spoons in there. So I might try the cinnamon snickerdoodle. I'm going to try the cinnamon cheese. Cheese? Uh, cheese with, with apple pie and cinnamon roll. Next, trying the cheese meat. Yeah. Can I have yeah. a single scoop of that one? Of course, make that for Right, I'm glad they did those tasters first because I tasted the uh, snickerdoodle and I really didn't like it. So then I tasted the um, cold brew coffee and pistachio and it's really nice. So I've got that instead. What did you get? Apparently one spoon <laughs> is equivalent to one shot of espresso. Yeah, so we uh, might be high as a kite soon. Mine's a cheese and apple with cinnamon roll. I'm going to have to try it. I can't taste the cheese. They said it was just more for, what did it say, texture, texture. rather than taste? Well, even that, it more, tastes more like, I can taste the roll, like the bread. Yeah. And I can taste pieces of apple, but I can't taste any cheese in there. Right, we're just coming to the Grand California and see if we can find somewhere to sit and chill for an hour. The aircon is beautiful. It's got a real kind of wilderness lodge vibe. And there's uh, quite a lot of people sat around the uh, fire. In this heat, they all sat there and watched that. It looks cosy, but in this heat, it's literally the rocking chairs are full. I know. But the aircon's fantastic in oh, here, though. It's amazing. We're not leaving here now. Right, we're here in Ballast Point, I think it's called. Yes, yeah, so we had to practice that before we put the camera. <laughs> Ballast Point. 
um, we are having, well, I've got a, um, a crunch Hungry. salad. Hungry? It's a salad. I think I need somewhere else. This is a Pineapples. Style. Well, you can have some of this if you want. And I've got some chicken. Nick's got the wings. We're here with our friend Kelly. Who we will uh, remember from the monorail crawl. Yes, the monorail the crawl. Monorail two crawl. years ago in January 2020. Yeah. Kelly did that with us. And uh, she's gone for the salad too. It's just you who've got um, right, something. It's uh, a big salad. <laughs> Right, we're just on our way back out. We're just looking at all the um, beer pumps. I wonder if it's like the old ones or the legacy yeah. ones that have had over the Look at years. That. Peanut butter. Oh, um, peanut butter. Yeah. They definitely didn't have that on the menu. We had a couple of the beers which were very nice. Can you remember what they were called, Nick? Huh? Can you remember what they were called? They had a um, speedboat. Yeah. And I had a Wahoo. Yeah, it was very nice. Right, we're out of the restaurant. We're just waiting for uh, Kelly to come down and then we're going to go to, I think we're going to go to the Jazz Kitchen. Um, I hear they are. She says they do a really good beignets, so uh, we can pass up an opportunity to try a beignet. Nick oh, you pronounced it correctly. Beignet. Wait. Nick says he's a bit full though, so he might just be watching me eat. Is that what you were going to say? Yeah. No, I've never said that ever. When have I ever said I'm full? Do you guys want wow. anything else? They're uh, making the beignets here. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to believe I'm that is. I'm fascinated to see how it turns into a beignet. Well, they obviously swell up when they cook. Yeah. Look how much contracting once you cook some. Yeah. So they've been cut into little squares, and here's some that uh, they've done earlier. And then they turn into beignets, which you can see just over there. Oh my god, look at the, in the background. In the back. Yeah. It's like. And uh, so this is the menu. Thank you. We're getting a family pack, $15.99, with some dipping sauces, chocolate, and uh, original, caramel. Original New Orleans yeah. versions. So uh, once we get to New Orleans, we'll have to try the, uh, the proper beignets. Well, we'll have uh, something to compare them against now, won't we? What the hell? It weighs a ton! <laughs> Like, that's like... And that good, was only... That's a, that's a kilo. That was only 15.99 for 10 beignets. <laughs> so there's the... <laughs> there's chocolate. The sauces, chocolate. The caramel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And... Is that, that like a raspberry one? Raspberry. One raspberry. Yeah. Raspberry. Yeah. yeah. Take one out, Nick. I want to see. And then a stack of um, napkins. Oh, oh my god, god. look at the amount of powdered wow. sugar on there. <laughs> so that's one of those little flat things that is, yeah. that's just swollen up. Is it hot? <laughs> Red hot. <laughs> Is it good? Very good. Can you tell? <laughs> it's huge. I just can't believe it. from that little rolled piece yeah. of pastry that it's gone to this oh, side. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, but very messy. So much trainers. There's so much um, like icing sugar or whatever it is in their powder. They were beautiful. They were amazing. Very nice. They're definitely not the beignets that we've had before no. in Paris and in um, French Quarter in no. Disney. They're more substantial, more yeah. just beautiful. heavier, a lot yeah. heavier. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're heading back into Disneyland to see what uh, other rides we can do. Just telling Nick, reminding him that we've not done Small World yet. Don't get any ideas. We're both Flagging a bit now. We're very tired. Excuse me. Don't grab me. I am. I had a beer with lunch with dinner. I'm accustomed to it. I'm yes, you are. I'm not. It's made me tired. Minnie in a Halloween uh, dress there, and up there is um, was Walt Disney's apartment or office one of two, wasn't it? The lamps on Walt's home. Yeah. Uh, so, right. We're gonna go for maybe pirates and then wait. small world. Don't get run over by this bus.
There's treasure enough for all. I know I'm speaking for a dead person, but I do believe if Walt was here, he liked improvement. I imagine he would say, improve that castle. Put a couple more spires on it or something. I'm sure if it made um, Bob What's His Name more money, he'd be straight up there with bricks and mortar. Yeah. So there's the castle, lit up at night. A lot of people it stood around look as if... ridiculously small compared to the Matterhorn at the side of it. Which yeah, the, <laughs> the Matterhorn looks bigger. But it's iconic, it's the original. It doesn't have, that doesn't have a wow factor, no, but uh, there it is in all its glory. So there's Tomorrowland, which we've not actually been in today. <laughs> and won't be. <laughs> we've been out since 10 this morning and we feel like there's so much we haven't done, but we also feel like there's so much we have done. Oh, I think we've done about 18,000 steps, which isn't amazing, I must admit. We're proper flagging. We're of, flagging, The yeah. heat's just too much, it's yeah. too much, it's draining us. And I read a story on the news today that it says this heat wave, which has lasted five days, is the worst heat wave in history in California. 107 so, degrees Fahrenheit. I feel a little bit more justified now, but I'm moaning about the draining heat. So we're going to have a walk down Main Street now, and then we're going to decide if we're going to go back to the hotel or not and chill. We've already decided, we're going back. <laughs> We have a busy don't start try tomorrow. And, don't try and drag it out by making out. We're, yeah. we're trying this best. We've decided we're not going to watch the, um, uh, the Halloween Illuminations parade. shows. We're we've, too tired. We've tried as best. We just can't manage it. We've seen the projection show before here. It is really good. Yeah. Check out our January 2020 vlogs if you want to see some of those. It's um, not the Halloween one and we would love to have seen it, but we're up early in the morning for the Warner Brothers Studios tour. We have a Warner Brothers Studio tour tomorrow and it's half past ten. It's an hour's drive away. So we've got to go pack tonight. Those beignets were fantastic, so that is now the benchmark. We'll see if New Orleans, the actual city, um, beats them when we get there. Where we'll probably try and get them from Café du Mont. Everybody says get them from Café du Mont. I've got it bookmarked in Google Maps. Yeah, so come on, let's have a little walk out. So this is what the walk back to our hotel looks like. Bloody long. Long. It's only about, it's about 30 minutes. What? It's about 30 minutes, isn't it? 30 minutes too long. Yesterday we got a slushy from that 7-Eleven on his way back. Oh, Coca-Cola foam slushy was delicious. I got some kind of sugar-free one of a rank. Walgreens over there. There's a lot of hotels on this street. A lot of, um, a lot of Marriott's. Download any video to watch any time. What the freak that was? Get YouTube Premium. All you do, no YouTube. YouTube Premium? That very advertising. Busy. I know, it's very busy. We're flagging. My God, that was the longest walk ever. We, we've given up. We can't do this heat. What was that? The bed's metal. Uh, we can't do this heat. We're literally saturated wet. We definitely need to do some laundry at one of the hotels. So um, that's it for our Disneyland um, section of our uh, road trip. Even though we actually technically haven't started our road trip yet, we start it tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow morning, we set off to the Warner Brothers Studios. We're gonna have a lunch with my mum before we say goodbye, and then we're gonna head up the Pacific Coast Highway, um, where we actually start doing the traveling on Saturday. So we're gonna say goodnight now, or Lee is. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. If you're new around here, do drop us uh, a subscribe and um drop us a comment uh, we've got lots more usa road trip vlogs coming somewhere. do you want to make a bit more noise it's these metal beds then weird. stop bloody moving on it oh it's nice to get my socks off oh i want to get mine off they've been on since 10 a.m ah. oh. oh my feet are steaming my legs are just dripping in sweat my back is dripping with sweat <laughs> Right, we've got a couple more days left of this heat wave apparently and then it's going to cool down. Apparently there's a hurricane, Hurricane oh, yeah. K, yeah. which is just off the uh, the coast near Mexico, it's which apparently we're going to get the backwash of yeah. it. Just for one day though and then it'll be gone. So we'll see you uh, on the next vlog when we are going to the Warner Brothers studio and then up to Pismo Beach. Right, bye for now. Bye.